<coughs> sketch the graph of y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. There are different ways of sketching this. Uh, one way is to first factorize this and then find the x and, and the y intercept and then the vertex. So I'm going to do this in a different way. We are going to go backwards. From this equation, we'll first find the vertex by just looking at the equation by using a formula, then, uh, then find the y-intercept and then sketch it. So first is vertex or turning point. So let's first find the vertex or TP. TP stands for the turning point. Now this is a neat formula which is good to remember. The x-coordinate of the vertex can be found by using this formula which is minus b over 2a. Now, what is, what is A? A is the coefficient of x squared. So, here A is 2. B is the coefficient of x. So, this is B. This is, this is B is 4. Okay, you don't need C. So, if you just want to write C is negative 3. Now, this formula has come basically from the quadratic formula. So, those who have learned the quadratic formula, from this, you can, you can prove this very easily from the quadratic formula. So let's substitute the value. So your b is 4, so negative b is negative 4 divided by 2 times a is 2 times 2, which is 4. So your x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 1. So we need to find the y-value or the y-coordinate of the vertex by putting this x is equal to negative 1 in this equation. So this is 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times 4 times negative 1 minus 3. So this is 2 times negative 1 squared is 1. This is minus 4 minus 3, which is 2. And what is this? 2 minus 7, which is negative 5. So your vertex, you can see your vertex, the coordinate of the vertex is negative 1, comma, negative 5, just like that. Now, this method is also very useful because at times the vertex is the most important point and this is good to start with the vertex. So the coordinate of the vertex is negative 1, comma, negative 5. Negative 5 is here, so negative 1, comma, negative 5. And then you can draw the line of symmetry. Line of symmetry always passes through the vertex. Okay, now to find the y-intercept is very easy. So what's the y-intercept? So let me do the working here. Let me slightly scroll up. <coughs> so your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So if you set x is equal to 0, y would be? 2 times 0 squared, that is 0, plus <coughs> 4 times 0 is 0, minus 3, which is minus 3. That means your the coordinate is 0, comma, negative 3. When x is 0, y is negative 3. So let's plot that point. So that point would be 0, comma, negative 3. Okay, so 0, comma, let me negative 1 comma negative 5 negative 1 comma negative 5 <coughs> and 0 comma negative 3 is here and so using symmetry this point is one across from the line of symmetry so you've got one more point here and this is enough to sketch the graph so this is the graph is going to go like this so let me sketch it so this is going to go like this okay Okay, and if you go on to go the next branch is this. So this is a good sketch of the uh, equation y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. Now just if you want to plot a few more points, if you look at this point, this is this point from the vertex, you're gone one across and two up. Okay, so basically you have to use this formula. So when you're going one across, you're going two up. So if you go two across, 
So what is 2 squared? 2 squared is 4. You have to go 8 up. So let me show this. If you go 2 across from here, 1, 2. To plot the next point, you have to go 8 up. So how did I get 8? 2 times 2 squared. So 2 times 4 is 8. So if you go 2 across, I'll go 8 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then using symmetry, this is how much across. This is 2 to the right, so you have to go 2 to the left. And then you can finish it off, so the graph will go up like this. And the graph will go like this. So by looking at the graph, we can say the x-intercept is somewhere between 0 and 1, and somewhere between negative 2 and negative 3. Okay, so let's confirm this point when x is 1, y is 3. And when x is negative 3, y is 3. So let's use a calculator to confirm these points. So let's confirm. So let's remember the equation is, let's go to graph and type in 2x squared plus 4x uh, minus 3 and then graph it. So yeah, let me change the scale, make it standard. Okay, so then let's find the minimum, <coughs> negative 1, comma, negative 5. Okay, so let's confirm. When x is 1, y should be 3. G solve f6, f1. So when x is 1, y is 3. Again, G solve f6, f1. When x is negative 3, and I told you your x-intercept is between 0 and negative 1. Those who learn uh, quadratic equation, you can do it. But just let me show this on a calculator. So if you press F1, can you see this is between, when Y is 0, X is minus 2.58. And that's what we said. And if you press this key, it's between 0 and 1, 0 0.58. So this is 0 0.58 and this is minus 2.58. So using the calculator, I can say this X-intercept is 0 0.58 comma 0 and this is minus 2.58 comma 0. This is in 2DP.